Good morning, everyone. It's uh, Glenn Kelloway, your favorite ranker. Wanker. Here I am with another ranking video. Um, this is going to be my top 15 live tracks. Tracks from live albums that I absolutely love. Um, I'm a big fan of live albums. I don't know about you guys. I know I have friends who don't like live albums. I, I'm not quite sure why, but I think they're great. Um, I am fully aware that after they're recorded, they're taken back to a studio and uh, and the mistakes are all fixed and sometimes uh, they uh, redo the vocals or whatever. But uh, for the most part, I just love the feel of a live album. I like that the songs are a little bit different, maybe stretched out a bit more. Maybe this, this sound, I don't know, live music is just, you know, so incredible. Um, so, uh, yeah, 15 of my top live tracks. So let's get started. Number 15, a band that's on tour right now, actually. Little Feet. This is an awesome live album. It's called <coughs> Waiting for Columbus, excuse me. Um, the first song, Fat Man in the Bathtub. Great old George song. Absolutely love it. Uh, this is a great live album. If you haven't heard it, check it out. Waiting for Columbus, Fat Man in the Bathtub. Number 15. Number 14, Super Tramp. One of my favorite live albums is Paris. I love this album. Um, so many great tracks on it. You could pretty much pick any song on here, and it's, uh, you know, could be your favorite live track on here. But I love the song From Now On, and uh, they do a killer version of it on here. Um, great, great live album. From Now On, number 14, on my great favorite live tracks uh, number 13 from this classic live album live at leeds i picked magic bus because it's one of my favorite who songs it closes the uh the concert or the, the album at least i'm not sure if they're the same order as they were when they played them but uh magic bus is another just i mean it's a classic live album who doesn't like the who uh number 12 i'll tell you every time i've seen this man in concert and heard this song live it just makes the hairs on my arms stand up and the back of my neck tingle and puts a big smile on my face it's the song jungle land and when clarence clements stepped up into the spotlight to play that amazing sax solo in that song you know you have those moments when you go to concerts that you always remember and I remember every Bruce Springsteen concert I ever went to, and I always remember those moments when Jungle Land came on. And uh, so this is from the amazing No Nukes release that came out uh, a couple of months ago, a few months ago. It's it's uh, so it's such a incredible iconic performance from Bruce and the band. And uh, so I picked Jungle Land off of the No Nukes album. Ah, oh, what's next? That's number 12. Number 11. Okay. Al Cooper and Michael Bloomfield at the Fillmore East in 1968. They invite a special guest on who's relatively new to the scene, but not for long. Johnny Winter. Johnny Winter comes out and plays It's My Own Fault, which is my favorite song that Johnny does, and it's incredible. And, uh, Al, I mean, Mike Bloomfield, Al Cooper, Johnny Winter, how can you not go wrong? This is an amazing album if you've never heard it. Al Cooper and Michael Bloomfield, The Lost Concert Tapes from 1968, The Fillmore East. Amazing. Johnny Winter, It's My Own Fault. Number 10. One of the best live albums ever released, and it just came out in the last year. Tedeschi Trucks. Tedeschi Trucks bands featuring Trey Anastasia from Fish doing Layla in its entirety, Layla Revisited, live at Lock. And if you have not heard this album, it will blow your freaking mind. It's fantastic. I could have picked any song off of this. Every one is done at least as good or better. I say better than the Derek and Domino's versions which that that Layla album is one of my favorite records for guitar um 
I picked any day off of that. It's 13 minutes long, and the guitar is so sweet in that. It's unbelievable, but every song is just a classic. If, do yourself a favor. Buy this album, buy the CD, go listen to it on Spotify. Do something, but don't ignore this record. Fantastic album. Okay, that was number 10. Number 9... Yes, I've got a lot of live Yes albums, and I was trying to figure out what song. Now, I love uh, Keys to Ascension's got some great stuff on it, but recently I picked up Yes Symphonic, and I just love this album. I think it's amazing. Um, it's kind of misleading. The symphonic parts are ahead of the Yes songs. They're, they're not all, you know, it, it's not Yes playing with a symphony orchestra. Um, close to the Edge. The version of Close to the Edge on here is just about frickin' perfect. I, that's why I picked it. it. It's just perfect. The vocals, I love the I, I get up, I get down, that whole part there. Um, just so moving. Beautiful. Yes, Close to the Edge. Okay, that's number nine. Number eight, Mr. Zappa. There's a lot of great live Zappa. I mean, amazing stuff. But I love this Roxy box. This is kind of the uh, expanded all four nights of what became Roxy and Elsewhere album. To start it off, Frank comes out and does a little blurb. And then they break into Cosmic Debris, which is just a great, great blues tune from Frank. 11 minutes and 33 seconds. The whole band gets to shine. Frank plays some great guitar. It's just fantastic. I absolutely love it. This is an amazing set, the Roxy Box. Another one I highly recommend. Uh, what's next? That was number eight. Number seven. Who doesn't love this performance? Blew me away when I saw when the film came out, I think in 1970. Woodstock, 10 years after, I'm Going Home by Helicopter. Yes, I'm going home 10 years after. Oh, I can still close my eyes and see Elvin Lee. Man, what a great guitar player. What a great performance. Number six, another performance from Woodstock, but this album came out giving us the complete set. Creedence Clearwater Revive Alive in Woodstock. This is fantastic. I mean, not a sonic masterpiece. If you're an audiophile, you're probably... Not going to play it too much, but if you just like great music and you're you're happy, um, this is a fantastic album. I am going with Keep On Chuguin. They do a freaking killer version of Keep On Chuguin off of this. Live in Woodstock, 1969, Creedence Clearwater Revival, their complete set. Fantastic record. Okay, number five is... From this amazing album, unfortunately, we just lost Gary Brooker to cancer. Uh, Procol Harum Live. You could pretty much take any track off of this album, too. But I picked and held Twas in I, the great prog song from Shine On Brightly. Um, just a great version of that song, which I love. I think it's one of the great long songs tracks ever recorded incredible let's go with purple harem and held twas in i that's number five number four one of my favorite bands of all time uh i could have picked any of the live albums that they've done king crimson this is called meltdown live in mexico city and what is becoming my favorite King Crimson song, Starless. Just a beautiful, beautiful song. Um, between that and Epitaph for my favorite songs, but the live versions of both those tracks are incredible. This is a great live band. It's like going to see, it's going to see a, like a seven-piece band that's like watching a symphony at work. They're just so incredible, the way they play together and the power of their music, and it's just amazing. Uh, King Crimson, Starless. Number four. Number three. Another one of my favorite bands of all time, The Grateful Dead. I'm going to do a video just on Grateful Dead live stuff at some point. And to sit here and try and pick one song is impossible. 
but I tried to do it and I picked this one because it's special. It's from their 1990 tour. Now, a lot of people don't think the Dead were at their best in the 90s. I happen to really like this tour. And uh, a box set came out, plus an, uh, a, a, just an individual CD set called Wake Up to Find Out. Um, Branford Marsalis, a great jazz player, guested on one of these nights in Nassau, I think it was, and uh, Nassau Coliseum. And they did an incredible version of Eyes of the World with Jerry and Branford just jamming back and forth. And this beautiful song, because I, I just love one of my favorite Grateful Dead songs, Eyes of the World. And Branford just adds so much to it. Him and Jerry played so well together. So Eyes of the World is my number three. Now what the hell could be number two and number one? Number two, another one of those performances like I was talking about with Elvin Lee at Woodstock. How about watching Janis Joplin at the Monterey Festival in 1967? Man, just look at Mama Cass's Elliot, Mama Cass Elliot's face at the end of it when she goes, "Wow, what a great performance!" Ball and Chain. Now, Ball and Chain is on Cheap Thrills. The live version here was recorded at Winterland. Um, this album. When you listen to it, sounds like a live album. That's the way they made it, but it's not. It's a studio album that is made to sound like a live album, but the only actual live track recorded at Winterland is Ball and Chain. And uh, I love Janice, and I just love her performance of that great song. Number one. What the hell's number one? High school, 1971 probably. I was in grade 11. Our library had a turntable in it, and you could go there on your spares and your uh, lunch hour, and you could, they had some records there, and I don't know who stocked the records at the library at our high school, but they were pretty freaking cool, whoever they were, and um, I went in there one day and saw this album, and it had just a bunch of black and white cover with a bunch of long-haired guys laughing their heads off. And one guy in particular had his hands cupped over his uh, groin area. Um, they were called the Allman Brothers Band at the Fillmore East. And I went, what the hell is this? These guys look so cool. And I put it on, and what do I hear? But the opening riff and the slide guitar for Statesboro Blues. Every time I hear this album, I've heard it a million times. That song just blows me away. It is just the greatest opening track on a live album ever. One of the greatest live albums ever. And uh, Statesboro Blues wins it for me, hands down. Incredible performance of that song. And uh, yeah, that's it for my live tracks. Uh, please comment, subscribe, push the like button, tell your friends, tell your neighbors. Uh, Peace out, everyone. I love you all. Have a great day.